Hi, it's Dr. Joni Liu. And my question today is, why are goals important to your health? Well, for one thing, your brain loves it. It loves it when you're learning new things. And when you have set a big goal, that's when you are forced to learn, okay? So the brain lights up all over the place and it creates new uh, neural networks because you're thinking differently, which is so important. You're going to find that it actually keeps you young, definitely. When I was very young, my parents didn't have very much, so we didn't have very much. They lived in a Chinese ghetto when I was a baby, and eventually they moved out. And you see, my dad was ambitious. My parents were ambitious. He wanted a car. Nobody who was Chinese at the time owned a car, and people made fun of him because he wanted a car. But that's what he wanted, and he got it. And then we moved out of the Chinese ghetto, and we opened up our own uh, Chinese laundry. So my parents had three kids under the age of four, <laughs> so it was pretty busy. So there were five of us, and we shared one bedroom. So. My brothers and I had a bunk bed. I was sleeping on top and they were on the bottom of the bunk bed and my parents had their double bed. And so we had a dresser drawer or maybe two dresser drawers for all of our clothes. That was it. And we had a kitchen and the Chinese laundry was in the front of the house. And my parents ran that business because in those days, nobody hired Chinese people to work for them. But, you know, my father was ambitious, so he had his car, he moved out of the ghetto, and then there was this, uh, the goal about moving out into um, Montreal suburbs in LaSalle, and we, my parents ended up owning, buying and owning their first home. And in Montreal, there's these duplexes, but a duplex has got um, a house on top, so you can use it as a rental, okay? And then my parents also bought other rental properties and and then they eventually uh, worked for other people when that prejudice went away, okay? But I kind of noticed, and I noticed this in a lot of older people, they stop having dreams. At some point, they stop dreaming, they stop wanting, they want things to stay the same. In fact, I find it really strange that today, my parents are in their late 80s. They talk about how good China is when it's a communist country. And, and you know, my grandfather's wealth was taken away. And they eventually escaped, you know, in the late 50s. And that's how I ended up being born in the late 1950s in Canada. And uh, growing up uh, very Canadian. But I'm telling you... Watching my parents now and watching other people around my age, it's not good because so many people just want things to stay the same and they don't want things to change regardless of what it is and because of that they stay stuck and staying stuck makes you sick because now you're stagnant, you're no longer growing, so because you're no longer growing, you're dying. So that's why in January 2020, I am creating a class for 20 for 2020 to take them through the same program that I've been studying for a while now. And I'm telling you, the changes that are going to happen in your life are going to be huge. <laughs> because of that, I am no longer stuck myself, okay? So... I want you to join me in January 2020 to be part of that group of 20 for 2020 to grow your life, grow your business, grow whatever it is that you really want to be happy, healthy, and wealthy. Okay, just leave your comment, you know, message me, and let's set up a, a chat and talk about this program because you are going to love it.